everyone. My name is Ming Fei, and uh, I work in Azure Media Services as a program manager. In this video clip, I'm going to show you how you could easily configure either AES encryption or PlayReady encryption onto your live stream using Azure Media Services portal. We have announced that um, PlayReady encryption or AES encryption capability on Azure Media Services through Azure Block, which you can check on more details here. Before going into demo, I want to quickly talk about the mechanism behind live streaming with dynamic encryption. First of all, when you use Azure uh, live streaming, you will set up a channel which allows you to feed the live stream in. We accept the input stream in RTMP or smooth streaming format. And we run a little program on channel allows us to live archive your stream into Azure Blob storage. We also expose a preview URL on the channel to help you check the health of your live stream. If you want dynamic encryption, you need to configure the following on your live archive asset, such as a uh, content key, which is the key that you want us to apply encryption upon your live stream, authorization policy on your content key. We support token authorization, IP restriction, or open uh, for authorized content key to your player. If you are using PlayReady encryption, you could define PlayReady license template here as well. Lastly, delivery policy. Which streaming protocol you want us to apply dynamic encryption with? After setting all this, our streaming endpoint will dynamically encrypt the stream and package into different format to serve out to your media player. Here, you could even mismatch the encryption with different streaming protocol. You could deliver AES encrypted HLS stream, for instance, and PlayReady encrypted smooth streaming and NPAD dash into different player and platform. And after the media player received the encrypted stream, it could uh, request a key or license to decrypt the stream. That was usually the workflow. If you choose token authorization policy, your player will log in with your own authentication system. And once they are authenticated, they could you could uh, give them a token. And the player will use the token to pin our license or key services front end to request a license with the valid token. And if we think the token is valid, we will return the player the correct license or a uh, AES key for the player to decrypt the content so the live stream gets played on the player or the devices. Now let's take a look to see how, how it is done with um, Azure Media Services Portal. This is uh, under my Azure Media Services Account Channel tab. I have pre-created a channel, but you can do it easily by clicking on Add to create a new live channel. You can choose the ingest protocol to be either RTMP or smooth streaming. And you can see my channel is ready. And there is an ingest URL allows me to uh, put in the live stream. I'm using a software to do uh, live encoding. It's called Wirecast. You can download a trail uh, version on their website. Firstly, I need to configure the um, output destination of this stream. There is an uh, option here, Azure Media Services baked in, so you can choose Azure Media Services. Click on OK. So that's all the encoding preset that Azure Media Services supports uh, as pre set that defined here. So I will choose H.264 720p. And the address here is the ingress URL that you could grab from the portal. So I will go to portal and uh, copy paste ingress URL and put it into an address here. 
and click on OK. And you could easily add a, a input stream from Wirecast 2. So let's say I want to put uh, my camera here. And that's the preview of what I'm going to live stream. And click on this one. Uh, that's basically the live stream that you are sending to the ingest URL. And we could click on stream. Now what happened is uh, Wirecast is uh, encoding the live stream feed from my camera on my desktop into the left channel in the cloud. And we could go back to portal. As I mentioned, there is a preview URL allows you to monitor the health of your stream. You could click on play button here, play preview URL. And we should uh, be able to see the uh, stream showing up here. OK. And uh, however, the stream is not uh, live archived anywhere since we don't have a published URL. And we could easily start streaming. That allows you to create a default program uh, with this channel. We could choose to be either um, unencrypted, which is a clear live stream, AES encrypted, or play ready encrypted. So let's say if I would choose AES encrypted, click on AES encrypted button. And now a program is created with AES encryption configured on the program. If we go into uh, the channel page, you will see a program is uh, getting uh, started up with, um, with this channel. And it takes a few seconds for the program creation to be completed. So now you can see that the program is running. And I could hit on play button, which is a player that allows AES playback uh, with a live stream. And uh, this is one of the player that we ship using OSMF plugin. So you can see the stream is getting played. And you may wonder that why this is a encrypted stream. I could easily uh, open up the live manifest. Click on open. And uh, you should actually see a protection header here with the key URL. That's the AES key URL that I was talking about. And uh, because we, if you go back to content protection tab, that was where you could set the authorization policy for the content key. Since I set it as open, so everyone ping the key URL will be getting the AES key. However, you could also set as token restriction by only provide the right token, the our key services will give the player the right key. So as I mentioned, now I could also set another program enables play ready encryption on the program. Um, we could do it the other way by going into the channel and click on Add button here to create a new program. So I could name it as a Play Ready program. And uh, you can give it an archive window. Um, and also to choose which encryption you want to apply on this uh, live program. And I could say Play Ready Encrypted and click on OK. Within a few seconds, a plurality encrypted program will be created. And uh, the stream here would need a plurality uh, player to play back since uh, it was encrypted with plurality. So I believe after a few seconds, the program should be up and running. Let's refresh the page. So the program is getting uh, started. And now we could run the program. So since I configured token recursion on the uh, 
deploy ready policy. Now um, the portal is asking my permission to issue a token to my player so that you could play back a player ready encrypted content. And now you should see the uh, content is getting played. Now is all I want to show to easily configure AES or play ready encryption onto live stream. Uh, thank you for watching.